decide or how do you know which whether it's the the rumba clave or the the uh, song clave are there guidelines that like you know the old stuff song the new stuff is rumba or, <coughs> or is it just whatever i think that statement's probably partly true yeah and like a like a cha-cha-cha is going to be song clave you know straight down and two i mean aside from playing a cha-cha-cha probably for the most part, anything that we play is going to lean toward rumba, um, because you know we're not an orchestrated band. We're not typical playing real traditional. There's a percussion section and a horn section and a singer, and they're doing the traditional forms. Mm -hmm. um, and at the same time, I mean, depending on the tune, I could be, I could do either because the function is the same. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? I mean, so you'll so switch it if it feels right. Maybe I think. 
Yeah, I'm not really, I'm not but that's really because sure. this is a, a yeah. this is a trio. Yeah, there, you got there's, freedom. There's an openness to it, so I'm not actually positive if I have done or might or, or do, because I think I'm thinking in ter more in terms of its function, meaning all this that we've been talking about, the phrasing. So it's much more important that I'm on the right side of the clave and we're phrasing in relation to clave than whether I'm playing song or rumba. You know, or you you know make up a name for a clave, you know, and the rhythm too, right? Doesn't have to be played. That's important, and in relation to everything that we're doing, you know, no one has to be playing the clave rhythm, so long as the uh, the content is there or the language is there and the way that you that you uh, speak around it. 